Why, hello there, cyber citizens and s potential cyber immigrants alike. Shams Nelson here from Pen and Blade, and you are about to witness the most historic uh, day in the history of the cyber nation when our um, most prestigious member, not the most, but a most prestigious member, the Command Tenth, has taken the final step, the third quest in the Chub Chub Challenge, and is about to ascend to the glorious level of Pencil Knight, and actually become the very first Pencil Knight in all of Pen and Blade's history, even before me. I still gotta finish my Chub Chub Challenge as I just finished the second one, I'm on to the third, which is what we're gonna look at right now. And so once you've completed the third Chub Chub Challenge, then uh, you basically pretty much become a Pencil Knight as long as uh, you pass the challenge. And for now, the barrier of entry is pretty pretty vaguely defined, but um, but let me tell you what, what he had to complete. First off, he had to draw three portraits. This is a secret challenge, so I don't know how long it's going to stay secret, I guess, starting now. He had to draw three portraits of different members from the Cyber Nation community. So there I am. And then we've got Skeletor and we've got Molluscoid. All right, we're going to get to that in a second. That was the second part of the challenge. And then the third part of the challenge was to create a map and use these three um, uh, portraits and to create a, in the, in the for, for his in his case, the command tent verse to create uh, a world in within the command tent verse where these glorious uh, people reign as, lo as as leaders. So let's go ahead and start reading this. And at the end of this video, you're gonna witness me um, ascend him to the role of pencil knight right here on this video. It's crazy. I know. I know. I know. You guys must be your heart. Your heart rate must be at an all-time high right now. So world building, jungles and island. And you can check this out for yourself at commandtent.wordpress.com if you are intrigued. And uh, check out his vlog other posts and uh, all that good stuff. An entry for the world building channel from Shams at Pen and Blade. The requirements included drawing original characters based on people in the community discord, creating an original map, and writing some lore tying it all together. I give you Jungles and Island. I don't know if that's a theme song for real. So what do we got here? Let's look at this. We got some forests. We've got these interesting um, uh, holes or sinkholes or pits or something in the middle. I'm curious to see what that ends up being. I love this map, by the way. And I like how the river on the left side comes out from right between the mountains and also in some other spots. That's a nice little touch because I think it's realistic way of uh, portraying them and this little town down here okay in, in a cute little bay i would love to live there there's a castle by the lake and kind of on the edge of a pretty scraggly looking forest is that a scraggly leafless forest i don't know we're about to find out jungles end is a small subtropical island covered in dense humid jungles and rolling hills all of which look down upon are looked down upon by the small mountain chain that runs down the middle of the island while ignored by the world at large, due to the island's isolation and inhospitable terrain, three small clans live and struggle to thrive. Arduous living conditions, weather, terrain, and conflict have kept the clan small and unable to take control of the entire island. However, recently this has changed due to the rise of three clan leaders who have each begun to prepare their tribes to conquer the land. The future of the island is uncertain beyond the knowledge that it will be fraught with war and bloodshed. Oh, it's certain. Oh, it's certain, because uh, I'm going to win this one, baby. I'm taking the gold. My clan, living in an interconnected wor uh, network of caves in Red Granite Glen, the humanoid wolf people of the Blood Clan have developed a culture revolving around the hunt. And I got to tell you how he came up with this picture of me. He uh, Googled all our names and then used that as inspiration. So what comes up when you when you, when you uh, search Shams is Shams. Like Sham is a pillow cover, I believe. And Shams are the plural of that. So that's that explains the pillowy shape. So I'm not sure why I'm a werewolf. Um, so let's see, where was I? Being of unknown origin and the only native people of this island, okay, um, they know that the land better than any others, yet uh, remain satisfied with their control over the mountain caves. That's true, I wouldn't need to have the whole island. Why would I? It's just, that's just greedy. The nearby jungles and grasslands provide ample hunting grounds for the Blood Clan and are used not only to provide food, but also to train their young warriors. Cool, cool. 
For generations, the Blood Clan has been happy to hunt and fight for seniority amongst themselves, not worrying about outsiders, outsiders as the clan grows. The start of the previous hunting season saw an alpha wolf known only as Shams take power from the aging leader wolf in a bitter fight to the death. What? I killed an, I killed an old guy? All right. With this power consolidated, he has embarked um, the Blood Clan on a plan to expand from their mountain caves and drive the other clans from what he views as his island. Okay, cool. So that's, that's my plan. Skeletor. Skeletor's clan. Living in what was once a fertile region. So well, let me see. Where was I? The, where would the granite, red granite, granite glen be? Is that where all those uh, sinkholes are? I'm not sure. Living in what was once a fertile region surrounding the wind mist lake. Oh, okay. I'm guessing that's this uh, lake down here on the south. Um, are the remnants of the Poin, Poin, Poine, Poin clan? Originally banished to, uh, to this island several hundred years ago as, a, as the results of a failed uprising. <laughs> that's so true. <laughs> Skeletor is the king of failed uprisings. <laughs> No, I think I don't know. Maybe he's succeeded in uprisings before. I've only I've only caught the the introductory um, segments of his uprising schemes, so I haven't seen it go through to full fruition. So maybe that was an unfair um, evaluation. The clan lived in relative peace and prosperity, fishing in the lake and farming the surrounding lands. Conflict within the clan. The past several decades led to the clan splitting in half. One half retained control of the lake and walled city on the shores, on its shores, and the other hide amongst the nearby jungle. Several years of violent war, which left hundreds dead, was brought to a bloody but definitive end with the rising of a warlord cleric named Skeletor. <laughs> No one is quite sure where this new leader emerged from, but he brought with him reanimated skeleton army of the Civil War's dead. With this army, he ended the fighting within the clan and set the survivors to work rebuilding the walled city. The rise of the new leader and the consequences of the Civil War left the fertile ground barren and the jungle a burnt husk of its former self. No, no, uh, no from the ashes of this clan... Now from the ashes of this clan rise a Skeletor army bent on conquering the island. So down here you could see the destruction, those trees. And he did a great job also um, doing the, uh, making it jungly. I like this, the more spiky trees and spiky edges on the um, forest kind of give it a more jungly vibe. I might have to snatch that idea. And then Molluscoid. And I forget, he told me why Molluscoid looks like that, but I forget why. The Carapace clan has had uh, arrived on the shores of the island so they're outsiders not long after the point clan admissed oh they're both outsiders that's right i am the only true heir to this island man my peoples the wolf peoples amidst a massive storm that drove their caravan of ships into the island's rocky coast the survivors quickly gathered what remained of their ships and supplies and set up a small colony in what they later named rescue bay oh that's his so this is his small colony down here that makes sense so i'm guessing that these holes and maybe my wolf people live inside underground in these holes, in these sinkholes, caves kind of things. Unsure of what island they landed on, but impressed with the bounty of the island's waters um, and protection of this bay, they decided to stay. The clan prospered and multiplied quickly as they reaped the many rewards of the ocean provided for them. Using the unusual wood of the jungle trees, they built impressively strong ships that could handle the rocks and storms that frequented the coast of the island. The discovery of a special clamshell that could be used for many different purposes, the most important of which was medicinal, furthered the prosperity and growth. Man, these molluscoids are really uh, they're gonna be a uh, yeah, man. Uh, they're gonna they're standing in the way of my conquest. As they grew in size, they quickly circumnavigated the island and came into contact with the other clans. This contact, while seemingly but seeming unnecessary to some, was escalated to possible conflict when the new governor, Molluscoid, was elected to the seafaring people. Uh-oh. Molluscoid quickly restricted the trade of the clamshells to outsiders and began to set, hey, hey, and began to set up the Carapace uh, clan on, on war footing for what he claimed was an inevitable war with the other clans that inhabited the island. Oh man, you guys, this is an intense conflict brewing. I want you guys to let me know in the comments who you think is going to win this epic battle and by what means. Shams and his, um, his army of wolf people, Skeletor and his army of skeletons and humanoids, or Molluscoid and his uh, clan of industrious seafaring mer uh, mercantile people. All right? So, I mean, this is an excellent... He's, 
command tent has done an excellent job passing the third of the Sud Chub Chub challenges. So let's go ahead into Discord and we shall um, give him the honor he deserves. All right, rolls, pencil knight. Um, oh, wait, wrong way. Members. Whoop. No longer are you a chub chub. Now you are a pencil knight. Oh, should it be Sir Command Tent? I'll have to discuss this. I think people should be in control of their own nicknames. Save. It has been done. Where's he at? Oh, it's not going to show him because he's not online. All right. Well, I wanted to see the color changed. Oh, there it is. A beautiful golden, golden brown of the pencil knight. Golden orange. Gorange. All right, you guys. That's it. Go check out his uh, blog post if you want to uh, read up on it more and give an in-depth, um, your in-depth um, evaluation on the battle to come. And uh, if you want to become a pencil knight, if you think you can pass the three Chub Chub challenges, the first challenge is to draw three pages of expressive skulls using the Fantastic Anatomy video about expressive skull drawing. And if you can, you can just go ahead and do that and come into our Discord and send it to me. And if you do, then I shall reveal to you the details of the second challenge. And until then, peace, God bless, and stay fantastic, everyone.